in all of application servers, like a website, a community site, a social media platform, doesn't matter what it is, there's always an administrator account to help manage the entire platform and who the users are. And of course, in this case, a lot of these application servers, especially for those are custom built, the first user is usually the administrator account. And what we can do then is to change certain information about the administrator account that will give us access into it. And from there on, we can do literally anything we want on the website. <laughs> So right in front of us, I have Metacop. So Metacop is a Rails code web application system that is vulnerable and we can run all our hacking techniques on it. And today we'll be learning how we can gain complete access into the website through the administrator account. And right in front of us, we're on a homepage. And in the homepage, we have the login field. So of course, we have no idea what are the email accounts. We have no idea what are the passwords in order to enter and access into the site. So we can go to the top right corner and I can click under sign up. So let us go ahead and sign up for a new account. So in this case, I enter the email and I can enter, for example, Loy Liang Yang at Loy Liang Yang dot com. And I can enter the first name is Hacker Loy Yang and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, this is a very horrible way of setting password into any accounts that you have online because chances are if you use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as your password, you'll be hacked in minutes or even seconds. So please use secure passwords because it will make it a lot more challenging for hackers to go after your accounts. So go ahead and click submit on it. And this will help us immediately create the account. And right here, as you can see, we have the income, we have the sick days taken, performance score, and so on. So this is likely a human resource website. And we can see all the different kinds of statistics that comes along with it. But what is more important is that on the top right corner, we usually have a profile setting. So go ahead and click on it and click on the account settings right here. And here we have the profile settings. And what we can do now is to try to update any of our information and details onto the website. And this is typical of any e-commerce site, social media platform, community site, whatever it is. And we can update the email address, the first name, the last name, the password view. And what we are going to do now, of course, is not to just do a simple update. We'll try to update someone else's account. So what I can do on the top right corner is to select Foxy Proxy and select Burp Suite. So we will have an interception into our request from the browser all the way to the web application server. And we'll do some amendments and manipulation and see what happens from the response of the server. So go ahead and select Burp Suite. So go to the top left corner of Kali Linux and go ahead and run Burp Suite right now. So I'll go ahead and enter on this and this will start up Burp Suite Community Edition. So click OK. And right here, we would have Burp Suite running. So click Next, click Start Burp. Okay, so this will start our Burp Suite and Burp Suite will be our interceptor. So in the proxy tab, ensure that intercept is on so that we can intercept all the requests that is coming in from the browser all the way to the web application system. So go back to the browser right now and enter the following password. So I'll enter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Click submit. And we have the interception right here. So what I can do next is to right click and send this request over into repeater. And on the repeater tab, as you can see right here, the repeater tab very nicely and cleanly show us the request that we can send over to the application server. And we have the response. So this is the server response from the messages that we sent. And on the right side, we have the inspector. So the inspector tell us about the parameters that we have in the body, the request cookies, the request haters. So it gives us all these details in a very clean format so that we can visualize what will happen when we change some of the content, some of the information into the site. So what I can do next is to look under the body parameter and under the body parameter, what we can do now is to change some of the content as we try to load them, as we try to load them with SQL injection. So what you can see right here is that we have the following field. We have the user ID. So I can highlight all these different parameters right here. And you can see on the right side with the inspector, the inspector show us. We have the user ID, we have the email, we have the user, the last name, the password and password confirmation fields that we can update as we send over to the site. So what I can do next right now is to go ahead and change. Say, for example, over here, we can try different kinds of SQL injection and you can load it as part of using Burp Suite to actually launch the attack against the site. So what I can do right now is to put a single code, closing bracket, and I can enter the following or admin equal T. All right, and what we can do now is to close it off. We have a double dash, single quote, double quote, and a closing bracket. So what are we trying to do here? What we are trying to do here is to literally select only users who have the administrator 
privilege in order to actually change their passwords in the website content. And once we have that running, and we'll be able to change everyone's password who has an administrative right. And this admin field, which is in a column field, is either true or false. And chances are for a normal user, it will be false. So what I can do next is that we can actually remove certain highlights of the parameters that we'll not be doing a check on. So I can remove, for example, the user email field. Okay, and I can use the user first name as well as the user last name. So I can go ahead and remove all of this data. And here we have just the password field. So we have the user password and the user password confirmation that you can see right here. And I can highlight it for you. And you can see on the right side, on the right side, we have the decoded from the URL encoding, as you can see right here. User ID equals six or admin equal T double dash. So this will close off the SQL's query statement and user password equal, etc. So this help us inject the following into the site and we will see what happened next. So go ahead and click send in three, two, one, click issue the request, and this is it. We got it. We got a message success. What does it mean? It means that we have changed all the user accounts inside the platform who has the administrative rights. So if I go back to the browser and I turn off the Foxy proxy and I go back to the, so I click log out. And what I can do now is go into the login page and try to log in as the user who has administrative rights. And as you can see here, we have the first field, which is the email address. And the email address, all I can do is enter admin at mattercob.com. And on the password field, and we'll enter the password that we just updated earlier. So I enter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and click login. That's it. We are in. Welcome admin. We have full control, literally, of the entire site right now. And on the left side, you can see an additional tab called admin. So let's go ahead and click on it. And once you clicked on it, we can see all the users inside the platform. And that's it, we're in. And we can literally do anything we want to every users inside the platform. Once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. Like, share, subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for hacking with me.